Hey everyone, Lance here. If you remember back uh, a couple weeks ago, uh, I made uh, an Arduino project of uh, two. Number one, I apologize for all the light. Um, for basically uh, working on an Arduino project that would work with my uh, Nokia Windows phone. Uh, but now I've gone one step further. Uh, now I made a little uh, controller. I apologize if it isn't coming out right. Well. Just trust me that it's okay. Uh, but we have our up, uh, our right, down, and our left. And uh, here we have our little speeds, as you can see, um, which will allow you to go fast or uh, whatever. Uh, cruise, slow, fast, and super fast. And then we have our emergency stop button. Again, this is just a sample thing that I was trying to make really quickly. Um, so. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. Here's our project, little uh, RC car. And as you see, it's uh, blinking. Uh, it's not connected. Uh, maybe you can see. Yeah. You can see that it's looking for, uh, well, a device uh, to connect to it. So now we're connected, right? As you see. Um, and as you see, we don't have a blinking light anymore. Right? It's uh, gone solid. So now. What I'm going to do, well, that looks better, is I'm going to press the up. Uh, there we go. We're going to go ahead and press up. So it's going straight. And we're going to go press right. And it goes right. We're going to go down. And then we're going to go uh, left. Oops. Left. So right. Left. Right left right left right left right left forward backwards right can you see that hopefully you can let's do it again right left right left backwards forwards backwards forwards right left right left right left forwards backwards forwards backwards left right left right and emergency stop and uh yeah so now we have a little project uh, that'll do it so now again we disconnect it and watch what happens you'll start seeing the blinking light in a second It might not be coming out very well but trust me it's blinking so now you might be asking Lance what's what's inside the vehicle here well as you see we have uh, two gearbox motors we have one oops, right here and then we have another one down here right and then we have a board and as you see right right there that is the Bluetooth module much like the spark fun one uh, that I had in the Arduino um, and yeah so this uh, takes some um, uh, basically the commands that we send uh, from our Windows phone um, and if you go on my github account I'll actually uh, be giving out the code it's actually already on there by the time you see this but uh, yeah so that's the board uh, you can buy one of these actual cars um, and I'm going to be customizing them, uh, and I'm going to be putting cameras and uh, uh, sensors so that technically you could have one of these uh, things uh, babysit your kids or whatever the case is. But this is all part of uh, making sure we can do these things with Windows Phone and make uh, the Windows Phone a better platform. Uh, and trying to make software and hardware come together no matter what platform because I can control this on my Windows 8 PC and uh, Through a little web interface that I made to host a HTTP uh, server um, I was able to on my uh, Windows RT uh, tablet um, To make it uh, control through a web browser so that means technically if I'm not home one of our sensor boxes can send a command via Bluetooth um, and send the data uh, back through Bluetooth depending on the module of the Bluetooth because not all of them uh, can handle audio or video. Uh, some of them are just strictly uh, data 
But uh, yeah, as you see, it's a fairly easy thing, and you have your battery underneath here. Um, and yeah. So uh, yeah. Uh, thank you uh for uh, watching, and uh, hope you'll try it out.